All right, well, hi, everybody, and welcome to your daily dose of scripture, news, and commentary. I'm Stan Grant. Uh, yesterday was all about current events in yesterday's video, and I wasn't able to really do a deep dive. I was able to skim the surface, but I was able to cover a lot of things that are happening within our nation. It was kind of my uh, State of the Union address as we come into this, this new year. It's the state of where things are at. Um, behind the scenes and some of the bigger issues that are in play. And one of the headlines that I discussed was the invasion that's taking place at our southern border. And in the course of talking about that, I made the statement that it's completely stoppable, but the political class does not want it stopped. Now, I want you to think that through for just a minute. Um, the, the, the system that's in motion today, the political class, the, the powers that be, call it whatever you want, the deep state, they don't want anything stopped that weakens you and empowers them. And, and what that tells me is that this is no, no longer government by the people for the people. Uh, the, the ruling class, they love their power, they love their wealth, and what accommodates that is a weak citizenry. They, they need people to be weak in and of themselves and on their own uh, on their own so that they have to be reliant on government and so what we've got taking place today is this giant vortex that's spinning us downward in which the people are becoming more dependent upon government government's becoming more powerful and it's now seeing itself as god and and uh, as a nation we've kicked god out of our national affairs and today government has replaced god with itself and so as we think about that, I want to just ask the question, um, what is God's word then for our nation and for our government as we come into this new year? Now, that's the question that I started the week off with and, and leading up to this point, it's been kind of introductory, introductory work, foundational work. I've been laying the foundation to lead us to this point. Somebody could say, Stan, are you finally going to tell us what God's word is for our nation? Well, the answer to that is, yeah, we're going to start to get into that. We're, start, we're, we're going to start to get into the meat and potatoes of that today and tomorrow. And what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to give you a short paraphrased version. It's, it's going to be in my own words. And then I'm going to give you scripture tomorrow that's going to back that up. So understand that today is, is um, not my spin, but it's my, it's my wording on, on what we're going to be reading tomorrow in the scripture. And here's the short version. God is preparing to bring about the complete destruction of our government. The complete dissolution, the complete destruction of our government. I'm talking all of the agencies, all of the alphabet soup agencies, IRS, gone. FBI, gone. NSA, gone. DEA, gone. Name it, it's gone. I'm, so I'm talking about all of the agencies. I'm talking about the very structure of government, the, the branches of power, they're all going to be gone. Even our very form of government is going to be gone. The complete destruction of the government of the United States of America. Now, in the aftermath of that, the Lord is going to return power to his people. He's not going to return power to the people. I'm choosing my words carefully there. He's going to return power to his people. You see, God has an original design for America. And, and God's all about original design. He wants to return us to original design, individually and even nationally. And God's design for, for his people in America it was for them to self-govern under God. Well, God's going to return us to that place. And, and whatever form of government we have... It's going to be very limited. It's going to be limited in both form. It's not going to be top heavy. And it's going to be very limited in power. That's because God wants people to self-govern. And it's going to exist for the benefit of God's people, not at the expense of God's people. That's inverted today. A lot of what's taken place within our nation is at the expense of good. It's at the expense of God's people. But it's going to be returned to the place where whatever it looks like, it's going to exist for the benefit of God's people. Now, friend, I believe this morning that that's a thus saith the Lord. That's in my own words. God didn't drop those words into my 
heart and say, I want you to say this verbatim. So, so that's my own wording of what I see. But I believe that that's a thus saith the Lord, and I'm going to prove that out as we wrap up. Um, well, we won't, we won't be wrapping it up tomorrow, but as we continue on tomorrow, okay? Now, let me also say this. As for its timing, when is all of this going to occur? I don't believe that it's going to be fully accomplished in 2024. But I do believe that the circumstances are already in motion as we come into this new year that are certainly going to advance us towards this outcome that I've just described. It's going to be brought forward. And another thing that I want you to understand is that as a Christian, as a believer, you're not going to be able to pray this away. I know that there's a lot of things that are being plopped out there today upon God's people. And again, I think they're pizza prophets and they're saying, here's what God said. This is what's going to happen. But if we pray hard enough, you're going to be able to pray it away and it won't happen. Well, of course, then nothing happens and the prophet comes back and says, see, you prayed and you prayed it away. Well, what I'm telling you is not going to be able to be prayed away. It will happen. All right. You can take it to the bank. Now, for those of us who love liberty, it sounds like great and exciting news, right? Well, yeah, it does, but here's the not so exciting news. It's the how behind the what. You see, what I told you is the what. Um, the how is not so pleasant because we're talking about the complete destruction of the system as we know it. Uh, don't And don't even think about this uh, within the framework of me uh, talking about political parties or one party advancing over another. This is not just about the white hats replacing the black hats, all right? And then everything continues on as it's always been under the white hats, the good guys, so to speak. What God is going to do is going to go way beyond removing one party from power and then putting the other party in. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the complete obliteration of, of political parties, period. Political parties, gone. Political agencies, gone. Branches of power, gone. Our, our very form of government, gone. In short, America as we know it exists on borrowed time. Now, that's only going to be accomplished by one thing. It's, it's only going to be accomplished by God judging the corrupt system that's in place and then destroying everything that's attached to it. So, so the message in this for our nation, this is the national word, all right, is that it's going to get worse. And, and then it's going to get better. But first it's going to get worse, all right? So a word to the wise. If you're a Christian, if you're a believer in Jesus, and if you're dependent on the government handouts or the governmental system in any way, you need to break that dependency today. You need to learn to self-govern. You need to learn to look to the Lord and, and, and ask for his help so that you can start to self-govern under God. Because that's where God's going. And you should go there too. The, the Bible says that the prudent man foresees the evil and then he hides himself. So, so prudence dictates that we look forward, we see what's coming, and then we adjust our path today, alter the norms that you're used to today, um, break ranks with what society is doing as needed, and, and then start to go where God is going, okay? So you need to break all of your dependencies on social norms as they exist right now. Break your dependencies upon the monetary system, uh, governmental agencies, governmental systems, grocery stores, food, water supplies, electricity. Start to break your dependency on all of those things today. And the benefit of understanding God's word for America is that you can find out where God is going and then you can get there early. Now, Noah did that. Joseph did that. Others have done it. And then they prosper because of it. Now, in previous videos, I've stressed the importance of laying any supposed prophetic word against the scripture. Now, uh, somebody will ask the question, does, stand, does scripture corroborate what you're saying? Does it corroborate my assertion that God is going to bring about the complete dissolution and destruction of the United States government? Well, that's what we're going to look at in tomorrow's video. Father, I pray for your people. Lord, those that have watched this video, I pray that you would confirm this word and speak to them in your own way. Lord, you speak to me, but you also speak to them. 
And uh, Father, I want you to confirm this word to them and show your people how to prepare for coming days. Lord, because you've given us your word, Lord, this is not a word that's meant to discourage. It's a word meant to warn people so that they can prepare and show. So Lord, I pray that you'll show people how to prepare for events in the coming days and encourage them by your spirit in the midst of all the things that we're going to see unfold in our nation. And I pray these things, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, that's it for today. Stan out. We'll see you in tomorrow's video.